Uh, yeah, it was fun to record. Um, we were in with some of the best producers in one of the best studios in Los Angeles. So, I mean, it's pretty freaking dope, if you ask me. He's one of my best buddies. I mean, that's the thing that uh, people often forget on this show, is that we basically live together. So, like, their success is my success. Um, Trent, like, he's my upstairs roommate, so I just go up to his room every night, and will tonight, and we just, you know, hang out. Um, but I'm so stoked that he's got a 50-50 shot of being the next American Idol. That's so sick. Tucci. <laughs> no, she's she's one of the uh, people that works on show. She's great. Um, no, Sia um, was probably my favorite person to work with, just because like I identified with her so much. Um, she's also bipolar, and so like when we talked about music and stuff, we looked at it through a very similar lens. Um, and I liked, you know, being able to relate with someone that is the same as me. So it was cool. Yeah, uh, actually, work starts Sunday on that. So that'll be out within a few months. Well, the world kind of lives on social media, right? So, I mean, one of the biggest strengths that I had um, going into the competition was I had a pretty good, well-running social media. Um, so I'm going to continue to use that to try to spread the word. Oh, man. I mean, I got to say Sia again. I didn't think she would be that funny. She's a really funny person. Um, she's great to work with. Um, and probably going to do a voiceover work. I did not sign up uh, for this competition to be the voice of two uh, squirrels in an animated movie. That was not uh, part of the contract. Um, so that was pretty surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of like alternative pop kind of stuff. It's funny, they peg me on the show as a rocker. Um, I don't really play too much rock music. Um, I really dig stuff like The Neighborhood, The 1975, Lord, stuff like that. Um, so it's probably gonna sound a tiny bit like that, my future music. I've seen that, that's awesome. I could do that, that'd be fun. Broadway would be fun. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Constantine Marulis, right? He was uh, the big Broadway guy. Um, worked for him. So, yeah, that would be awesome. The Porsche is probably one of the sweetest people I've ever met. Um, she loves everybody she meets, like their family. Um, and Trent... Trent's my buddy. Uh, he is surprisingly funny. He does not let off on the show how funny he is. Um, but that's probably because his sense of humor is probably not right for television. <laughs> but he's a really good guy. He's one of my best friends. Well, I mean, work starts on Sunday. Uh, we fly home on Friday, I believe. Sleep for a day. Uh, and then I'm driving out to Austin to work with my buddy, uh, Matt Nevesky. He's from a band called Blue October. Um, and we're going to just be putting to record all the stuff that's been happening right now. I feel like it's kind of like a moment in history. Like, people might not know that the show is ending, but they'll go back when they find out and watch the last episode. And I'll be there. Um, and that's pretty freaking dope, if you ask me. Um, I'm just so honored to be a part of you know, the end of something this big. Um, and I'm really glad that they didn't let Idol just uh, putter out and die like uh, some shows would. They, it, they definitely ended it on a high note. And I'm glad that I was a part of that. <laughs>